How's everyone doing today? Well, got uh, Paul here from the Bush Garden Junkies and uh, wanted to give you some of the information that I found out about Project Halcyon. Now, here I'm on the City of Tampa's website and if you look right here, we have new Halcyon ride site and foundation. So they have a permit and when we look into the permit, we'll see um, this is all public records, so there's nothing here that we should be ashamed of looking at, but it gives you all the information about it. Um, total project value, is that a million? I thought I heard somebody said it was 10 million. Um, it, it looks like possibly 200 feet high. I was checking the FAA website and I haven't seen anything in there um, in that location about needing lights or anything. Uh, they may have not filed for a uh, permit for uh, aviation markers. Uh, yet uh, they do have it on Falcon's Fury and they do have it on Iron Gwazi I did see those uh, aviation markers um, the other thing I wanted to show you was this here from water management uh, the other was the Tampa permit website uh, I'm gonna look into the Hillsboro and Florida permitting website also try to see if I can get any other details but I think most of the construction permits at Bush Gardens will be uh, centered through the Tampa website here. Now this is uh, the water management website and I thought this was uh, kind of interesting um, because, uh, well we don't want to see the map. There was one of these documents here, the plans. Yeah, I have that already opened up. Now, if you look at the plans, is this, uh, yep. This is a little metal uh, building that is behind what was Sand Serpent. Here you see the location where Phoenix was, the bush flyers, um, the motorcycle ride, and then the train here. And... Um, right in this area is where they have the elephant housing, the elephant interaction area, and their habitat. And over here is pretty much where the Serengeti Flyer is, somewhere in this area. So you notice how they kept all that clear. They're not doing anything with that. But if you look just north to the elephant housing why in the world would they include this section here good question <laughs> so here you see uh, more of what was coming out uh, all the shaded gray area is what's coming out uh, let me zoom in on this area here And if you read here, there is some um, existing animal shelter areas. And here it says, remove and dispose of existing interior shelter areas, buildings, this area. Also this uh, concrete area within the crosshatch area. So uh, this is pretty much right across where Sand Serpent was. Uh, we'll just shrink it down there. And um, in the next area, is it this one? No, it's this one. Now here, again, this is where Sand Serpent was. Future building pad. And over here is uh, the Twisted Pretzel. And right here is a merry-go-round in this area. So 
here looks like an entrance with queue lines the station the exit looks like it's coming out back here and if you look at this this is a pathway whoop leading into the building and you know what building this is this is a painted camel so uh so far from what we can see um yet the entrance is going to be here and the exit will come down here and you'll be exiting the ride into the painted camel so you can buy some gifts um i'm going to also zoom back out because over here was it this page Uh, nope, not that page. Hold on a second. I'll get it for you guys. Landscape area. Um, so yeah, this is, maybe it's the next page. Landscape area. Landscape area. Uh, and these are where the existing shelters were. But they're showing here some landscaping I'm not exactly sure well there is some other things in here like uh, where these circles are these circles are uh, I'm assuming those are the protected trees that they have to protect and here you see the overhead wires these overhead wires are for the um, sky ride so there is now this is just a speculation but I'm not sure why they would include this whole area if the ride was not going to go out into that area. And why would they do some uh, demolition work on the shelters there? So there you have it. Um, you have this whole area, which has been cleared out in Pantopia, plus this area. And it is now confirmed. Um, yeah, there was somebody that was at the park that told me. I'm not going to mention their name because I'm not sure if they may get in trouble uh, for this. But uh, word has it that it was going to exit into the Painted Camel. And, well, according to these plans, uh, a sidewalk from the ride exit to the Painted Camel is definitely in the plans. So that rumor has definitely been confirmed. Now, the only thing we have to do is... Uh, confirm the speculation of the ride actually going out into this area here so um stay tuned we're gonna try to gather as much information as we can for project halcyon and uh you never know we may we may get right down to the bottom of it thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button